we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the lovers here. Right off the bat, Gemini, I'm getting someone very greedy and stingy. Okay, someone who is more like I'm screaming, I want everything. Okay, someone's very focused on their money, very focused on their money, okay? Selfish, greedy, stingy, anything, all right? I think you're making bad deals right now, which is compromising the quality of your work. Or you're just being terrible with your money or someone who's just, who just sucks at making money, all right? Again, I'm seeing someone who's being too materialistic or shallow. Like I said, greedy and stingy probably, okay? Um, yes, we want everything, right? You want everything. We all do, right? But clearly, it's not working out for you, Gemini, okay? You could be holding on cash or objects, which is just a means of calming your insecurities, okay? I'm feeling that you could be juggling too many balls in the air. And very soon, you're going to have to make some serious, mutually exclusive financial choices, okay? Like big financial decisions. You probably want to eat the cake and have it too. But sadly, you're going to have to choose between having one big expense versus another, okay? You can't have both. One path will close the door to another path, okay? So just remember your choices may have large impacts in the near future. So be careful about what choices you make, okay? You're going to be presented with two very, very difficult choices, which are going to have a very significant um, repercussion on your life. Make sure you make the right choice, okay? You need to make a very head over heart decision. Let's see what happened in the past. In the past year, we had the Seven of Swords with the King of Cups in reverse. I'm getting to Gemini, you could be dealing in some shady business deals, okay? Fraud, theft, scams, etc. If not, there may have been some sort of trickery, scam, or stealing of your resources, okay? This can come outside of you, but again, you may also be inviting these situations or you did invite these situations because you were trying to get into some rich, quick schemes or you were gambling away your money making some shady deals in the past okay you could have again made some bad financial judgments or emotional financial ch financial choices in the past okay with the king of cups and reverse i'm getting you may have found it very difficult to control your spending and you were just not ready to make logical and well informed decisions okay you probably may be letting your uncontrolled emotions make your financial choices for you and when you did have them in check th this is what created a lot of problems for you you could be someone very gullible with your money, but I'm not getting that too much for a lot of you, okay? That's just for some of you. Could have been a victim to extortion or a con artist, okay? But I think the people who you used to take advice from or assistance from, okay, they were not really credited professionals. So I think you're dealing with people who are not trustworthy or this was just you, okay? Who invited such situations because of your approach towards your finances in the past. in the current situation. So in your current situation, just in your current situation, we have the two of cups with the star in reverse. Not bad. I'm seeing that there are balanced finances coming into the current situation. If you still haven't experienced this, you, you will very soon. Again, because time is fluid, right? This could be all predictive. So yeah, balanced finances, I think there's financial security and I'm getting more like you're not really financially stressed right now, okay? Stable financial situations, but again, this is not quite signaling wealth if you're thinking about wealth and money, but it does indicate financial security for a period of time, okay? So it's not going to be very wise if you treat this card as a sign of boundless fortune. No, that's not what I'm saying, okay? This is very much a card of reliability with the Two of Cups, okay? I think you even realize that because the two is always signal balance, okay? It's likely that you'll have enough funds coming in to cover what you spend, okay? So yeah, that's there for sure. However, still be advised to be very wise with your money, okay? Because, because this is a period of stability if you want it to last, okay? If you're going to spend outside of your means or you're just going to be reckless, then there is no reason for you to believe that this period is going to last. Okay. So, yeah. 
since you're a bit stable right now, instead of spending, just take a moment to remind yourself that you're not under financial stress right now, okay? And that in itself is a big reward. But still, I'm getting someone who's a spendthrift, okay? Someone who wants the fastest, the best, and wants to keep up with the society or maintain an image in the society. Because with the start in reverse here, you're probably wanting more than just a minute, okay? Again, I'm getting someone who wants materialism because you're okay here. You're doing good here. But with the start in reverse here, you're losing hope about something, okay? There's a lot of despair regarding your financial situation, okay? But again, not all hope is lost. But you've already given up, is what I'm getting. There are likely things you can still do to change your situation, but that's only if you gather the positivity, okay, to see things in a better light and take action. You need to open your heart up to a more positive outlook, okay? You need to open your eyes to new opportunities, and that's when you can get into something more stable financially. You are stable right now, okay? But if you're looking at your materialistic avenue, materialistic aspect, well, you'll have to open your eyes and look at things in a more positive way, okay? You're going to have to say more positive affirmations rather than just with the star and reverse dwelling in the past or, you know, just losing hope and thinking something's just a hopeless situation. All right, let's see the root of the issue or the reason for the reading, okay? What's going on? Why is the reason going down? Why is the reading going down? All right, I'm not surprised. We have the King of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Again, like I said, right? Someone who wants the fastest, who wants the best. This is you, Gemini. You want to reach or achieve a financial milestone, okay? You want to indulge. You want to be successful. You want to thrive. You want a very high level of status, okay? You want to reach that high level of security that comes from being, you know, I mean, I mean, you just want everything again i'm hearing it okay but that's going to come only by being diligent and wisely saving your investments which clearly isn't happening with you okay you probably even want to use any newfound wealth okay to support your loved ones okay because the king is very very generous um i'm getting that uh you want all this but again i'm getting that you've not put in the proper financial plans to achieve this okay You've probably gambled your money in or you've made a lot of risky investments to achieve this, okay, or wanting to. But again, remember, remember the levels in your overall energy, right? You're still avoiding a lot of financial decisions, okay? You're wanting all this, but you're avoiding financial decisions. There is a lot of financial disappointment because you're being decisive, okay, or what you've hoped for hasn't quite turned out as planned. And with the star in reverse here, right? Again, you're losing hope. You may have, I'm getting, you may have, you know, put in all your eggs in one basket and now you're really, really disappointed with the outcome. Again, could have made some large purchases without doing your research before making a decision. Again, impulsive, reckless decision making, impulsive choices, emotional choices. And that is the root of the issue. You want everything, but your choices are completely screwing you over. Okay. I'm constantly getting someone who is wanting all, you know, or has all the stability and the money in the world, but your spending style or your spending pattern is what's throwing you over, okay? It's because of the emotional choices and wanting to pack on your ego is also what I'm getting, okay? You're probably wanting to do a lot of things to want to show the society or take and live a certain style or live a certain uh, way in the society, okay? You want, to, you want to maintain a certain image in the society, which is just making you, uh, which is forcing you to make choices that are not correct for you or for your financial stability. What you will experience in the near future if you continue down this path is all right, we have the four of wands in reverse with the ace of swords. Gemini, this is unstable finances and probably supporting your family or your loved ones is going to be a burden very, very soon in the near future, okay? You're going to be struggling against a very poor economic situation. Your financial struggles are going to be very, very linked to your personal relationships, okay? It's also going to be possible that your family expenses are going to weigh you down in the near future. You're going to particularly have a difficult time making ends meet because of the unforeseen expenditures, okay? Again, all because of your expenditure or all because of your um, spendthrift nature or because of your spending pattern, okay? 
you need to be very very careful with your friends or family who are asking for money from you okay if you can't afford to give it don't consider getting your finances in place first before you assist to someone else however you're going to have to think very very rationally in the near future okay when it comes to money i mean your head and your heart are going to say very very different things okay in this case in this case with the ace of swords this is telling you to trust your brain and avoid making emotional financial decisions or this is what you're making this is what you're doing and that is one of the reasons why you're landing up in this because this is clarifying the four of wands and reverse with ace of swords here. the reason you're going through that financial stability is because you're choosing your heart every time or you're making emotional decisions a lot of emotional decisions have been made okay in the past maybe your family friend or you know like some family member asked you for money you look for a loan again you didn't approach the situation with your mind first you approached it with your heart okay you didn't check if you had enough for yourself you didn't check if you were going to get paid back okay your money has affected your relationships with that person or you know again you haven't rejecting a rational approach it's going to make you feel better okay but you don't want to i mean um it's going to cost you in the great in the long run and that's exactly what's happening you didn't reject um uh, you rejected a rational approach okay it made you feel better but then it landed you up here with the four of wands in reverse see it's cost you a lot you still have time i'm giving you i'm giving to you on tarot okay so see to it that you keep your um uh see that you trust your logic you're a gemini you're an air sign right you you're driven by logic just see that you make a lot of rational decisions deal with a lot of facts and logic okay again avoid making emotional decisions trust your brain trust your logic if you don't have the money you don't have the money if you can't have some money you can't have some money if you're not being able to afford that luxury at this certain point of time then you just cannot okay you need to realize what you can afford and what you can't you can't be so gullible okay and you just can't be so foolish and silly if you want the king of pentacles if this is the life you want you're going to have to make a lot of rational decisions okay you're going to have to think from your head and not from your heart or then you're going to stay here with the two of cups with the stability but not with the materialistic stability that you're looking for All right. What is uh, the best potential outcome that you're going to experience? Okay. So we have the world in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles. I'm getting Gemini. You're going to be very close to completing a financial goal, but you're feeling very unfulfilled despite the financial comfort. Okay. You're probably in a very, very good financial, comfortable position in the near future, okay? In your with your potential outcome, you probably may feel stagnant and unhappy with what you have. That's the problem here. It's more like a re-evaluation of your relationship to the material things that needs to be adjusted, okay? I mean, if you feel that you've fallen short of your financial goals, you know, um. It's not the time to, you know, indulge in feelings of disappointment. Okay, you're very close to achieving what you want. Okay, you just need to remain consistent, and you'll find comfort. And the reason you're feeling like this is because you know what? I think you've completely. I'm getting like you've completely. I'm hearing the screech of the bricks when it comes to your spending pattern. Okay, you've probably started realizing whatever happened with the near future, right? And you probably started realizing that you need to take baby steps towards your financial stability. I think you've slowed down, or you're going to have to slow down. Okay, your approach, slow and steady, is what I'm getting to get your financial growth. Okay, and that's why you're you're probably someone who's wanting things full speed. That's why I said, right? I'm getting that you've completely removed your leg from the gas, and you're putting it on the brakes all of a sudden, and that's why you're feeling this sense of incompleteness or a sense of not being fulfilled. You probably want to reach your goal fast, okay? Maybe you've already reached your goals, but it's because it's the slow-moving energy out here. You're moving very slowly, building your financial future, okay? But very steadily. That's something that you need to realize. You're not taking avoid. You're avoiding taking big risks, and you're probably keeping it safe and reliable, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is someone who's, uh, you know, 
uh, who's budgeting very slowly and saving for long term, okay? And that's something that you're not used to doing. I'm thinking, I'm getting that you're going to be, you're being more frugal than ever, okay? Finally, you're making a very methodical approach and that's something that's not going down very well with you. The world in reverse is more like a feeling, okay? It's like a feeling and with the world in reverse, you're feeling that you're not feeling, you're feeling unfulfilled, if I'm making sense, okay? You Either you've completed a goal, but again, you're not getting that fulfillment, that emotional fulfillment, you know, that you've achieved something only because your approach is being very, very slow, okay? It's a methodical approach, okay? It's a different approach, but it's the right approach of Gemini for you, okay? I mean, I think you're also feeling that world in reverse because you're probably making a big shift in the way you're looking at how you're treating your finances. So, yeah, but I think this is the right way to do it, no matter how you feel like this, right? You're anyway still close, okay? If you stay consistent, you'll reach there. Okay, you'll definitely reach there. Okay, and you'll find your comfort. But with the Knight of Pentacles here, all I feel is that things are only slow moving. There's nothing really wrong that you're feeling. Okay, if you're feeling the world in reverse here. You're feeling stuck and stagnant because things are moving slow. But well, again, after all this mess that has been created out here, I guess this is the right approach. Slow and steady wins the race. Always. Yeah. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope this gives you guidance. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time.